This video will explain how to use the ADL Test Suite 1.2.7 to ensure that your content packages are SCORM conformant. You can download the test suite from SCORM12.com. It will be the last file listed on the page. After you have the test suite installed on your machine, you will need to be sure you also have Java Runtime installed as well. You can do this by checking for it in the control panel from the start menu. If it is already installed, check the version. If it is Java 6, you will need to uncheck Enable the Next Generation Java Plugin from the Advanced tab. Once everything is properly installed and you have your content package file ready to be tested, you may launch the test suite from either the start menu or the desktop. There are four test options available the LMS Runtime Environment Conformance Test, the SCO Runtime Environment Conformance Test for testing individual SCOs, the Metadata Conformance Test, and the Content Package Conformance Test. This tutorial will cover the Content Package Conformance Test only. First, you just need to fill in some basic information about your course. If your course files have already been zipped, choose PIF for the next option. If it has not been zipped, choose non-PIF and browse for the manifest file instead of the zip file. The LMS initialize timeout period is how long the test suite waits to get the initialize call to the LMS. The default value should be sufficient for most courses. If any of these following variables are used within your course, you may enter them here or leave them as the default. Click Launch SCO to launch your course and begin testing. Click OK if the Adobe Flash Player warning box pops up. You will need to complete your course in its entirety in order for it to be thoroughly tested. Once you are finished, you may close the content window and click the Complete Test button in the Test Suite window. Be sure to look for the confirmation message that your course has passed as conformant. To save the test log, scroll back up to the top and click Save Log. Click the button that pops up in a new window. The log can now be saved to a folder of your choosing.